Hi there, Latin 2. So now we're about to learn the passive forms. Uh, what I recommend is after this, you go ahead and read uh, pages 23 and 24. There's a lot of charts on there that I recommend you copy down. But before you read those, uh, first off, ignore the part about the vivid or historic present. You get to not have to worry about that. Translate every tense as it is. Uh, but uh, I do need to show you uh, the passives. Um, so take some notes. Be ready to rewind this. Here we go, the passive voice, the passive voice. Uh, before we even get into that, I need to let you know that verbs have person, number, voice, tense, and mood, and you have run into all of those. Third person singular, there's your person and your number. Uh, the voice, you've only had active voice, now you're about to learn the passive voice. Uh, the tense, there's the six tenses, present, uh, present, imperfect, future, perfect, blue, perfect, future, perfect. And mood, you've actually seen. Anytime you see a command form, that's a different mood. That's the imperative mood. So we're learning voice. Verbs in the passive focus on the action itself, less so on the person, although the person is named. Um, it translates as is loved. Okay, so Sextus loves Cornelia. Cornelia is loved by Sextus, right? Um, and the last thing, uh, the basic endings are essentially the same um, as the six endings that you already uh, run into. Uh, it's just that um, they're basically, well, no, uh, they're, they're basically the same across the three tenses we're going to learn today, but they, uh, they just have little ending differences. And to be honest, it is very similar to what we see in the active voice as well. So... Now that we've gotten that explanation out of the way, why don't we take a look actually at the passive endings? So in the active voice, you see O, sometimes M, S, T, mus, tis, enti. And in the passive, you see R, ris, tur, mor, mini, intor. R, ris, tur, mor, mini, intor. And I put the or here because technically in the present tense, it goes, uh, it just adds on to the O ending of all your present tense endings, but it's still Arbus Tour Mormoni Ntor, which means that there's a wonderful song, and I will sing it for you now. Arbus Tour Mormoni Ntor, 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 Arbus Tour Mormoni Ntor. And there you have it. Now, if we're in person, you'll get to hear it with the music and the gongs and all kinds of things and me dancing. But if not, you got the diet version here. So let's take a look at how to conjugate the present tense and the imperfect tense. The other video that you're going to see after this will deal with the future tense. Okay. So present and imperfect, it's, it's going to be virtually the same. And it's enough that I don't have to explain too much. So step one, take the infinitive. Step two, knock off the infinitive ending. Step three, add on the personal endings. R is to our tor. Now that's the present tense. In the imperfect tense, it's bar, bar is ba tor, ba mor, ba mani, ban tor. But I would point out that if you took off the ba from all of your imperfect endings there, you would have R is to our Marmanian tour. R is to our Marmanian tour. R is to our Marmanian tour. So it's just bar, baris, ba tour, ba mor, ba mini, ban tour. And then step four, floss. Now, one other thing I do want to point out to you uh, you do imperfects just like you do active imperfects. So passives are not any different. Um, IOs of the thirds and the fourths have that IE in there. So yaki A bomb goes to yaki a bar so anytime you have the ea in the imperfect you're going to have the ea in the uh in the imperfect of the passives so no real difference there okay uh, again there's charts on page 24 for you to copy down now here's a few sentences that should help you understand it a little bit better so the first one sextus miser amatre non yamamatur poor sextus is no longer loved by his mother. And what I'd like to highlight here is a couple things. One, amator, I put in red so that you'd see that we're using a passive. But anytime you have a passive, if you want to say who did that passive, it needs to be by them. 
You're going to use a or ob, okay? And then in the ablative, and that's called the ablative of agent. So if that's you're talking about who did it. If, on the other hand, I got hit by a stick, that would still be a or ob, and it would be ablative of instrument. They're virtually the same thing. It's just that people aren't things. Next one. Flawia dum nekabatur ad or ab amica sua ad huk non audie batur. Flawia, while she was being killed by her friend, still was not being heard. So notice again, she's being killed by her friend. So ab amica sua. Right? And then you see, while she was being killed, she was not, she was still not being heard. And then the last one. Uh, parentes a liberis mituntur in profundos. The parents are being sent by their children into the underworld. You're killing me. Right? So mituntur. So again, you have the person, the ablative of agent. And you have your passive verbs. And you translate them in the exact same tense that they appear in. So it's not really a problem. All right. Uh, the next video you're going to see is going to be an explanation of the future, just because there's a slight difference in the formation. Roughly, it's the same, though. Aris tour, Mermunian tour. Aris tour, Mermunian tour. Aris tour, Mermunian tour.